Welcome to a very brief tutorial on how digital certificates work on the Internet. My name is Daniel L. Benway. I'm a Systems and Network Administrator Engineer. My LinkedIn blog and Twitter information is up on your screen if you'd like to contact me. And if you do, I'm going to ask that it be through my blog. Although I use YouTube to post my videos, I prefer to handle everything else through my blog. Like my other videos, this one is freeware. If you find any errors, please contact me. Also, please be sure to keep an eye on the revision and history record to make sure you have the most recent version. Let's jump right into a real-life example. How is someone able to securely buy a book from Amazon? Amazon needs a certificate to prove to the world that it is who it claims to be and to encrypt its communication with its customers. These are the two critical purposes of a certificate. First, Amazon generates a private-public key pair. This is asymmetric key cryptography. Next, Amazon sends its public key to VeriSign in a certificate signing request. After performing appropriate investigations and verifications of Amazon and charging a veritable boatload of money, VeriSign creates and digitally signs a certificate containing Amazon's public key and sends this certificate to Amazon. This certificate proves to the world that VeriSign vouches for Amazon. Amazon will use this certificate for months or years. Now a customer wants to buy a book from Amazon. The customer's browser downloads Amazon's certificate from Amazon, which contains Amazon's public key. The customer's browser verifies that Amazon's certificate is both unaltered and also signed by VeriSign, by using VeriSign's public key to decrypt VeriSign's digital signature on Amazon's certificate. Then, the customer's browser generates a short-term, per-session symmetric key, encrypts it with Amazon's public key, and sends it to Amazon. Amazon receives the symmetric key, encrypted with Amazon's public key, from the customer's browser, decrypts it using Amazon's private key, then uses that symmetric key to encrypt all further communication between Amazon and the customer. This is symmetric key cryptography. Amazon and the customer will use this symmetric key for the duration of their shared browser session. Thank you for watching this very brief tutorial on digital certificates. If you'd like to follow up with me, please visit my blog www.daniellbenway.net. Thanks again.